Aloha class. Aloha. So before we start this class, um, um, I want you to make a, a circle over here. And what you're going to do is try to look these papers. And I want you to put them only in two categories. You have to read each one and then help each other and find out which one goes in the other category. And I want you to come up with the name of two, two categories. Why you put them in one category and why you put them some in the other category. Mm -hmm. Another way to categorize those, as you, if you see the the words, like for example, has. That's one too. Two more minutes. for non-English speaking students. So. <laughs>
guys ready? Um, but we have to make only two, two groups. And you have to come up with the mix. Okay. Okay, while we're waiting and just gonna put Okay. Now we're gonna, what are we really gonna learn about today is the figurative language. And um, <coughs> those are the characteristic of some are for the simile and some for the metaphor. <coughs> oh, that's right, that's right. Now I want you again to read this the the definition of simile and then after that you read the, the definition of metaphor and then again I'm gonna have you come back again and see if you can rearrange this into um, simile and metaphor. Okay. 
I want you to do, to look, to read, and then um, turn to your neighbors and ex like explain what is simile and metaphor. And then again, I'm gonna want you to go back and if you can see, um, um, to put them in not in eyes or in um, correct categories, okay? But I give you two minutes. No, not now. You have to 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 get to know first with this, and then this. But you have to explain, right? Yeah. And you can turn to your neighbor, and then talk about the the definitions. Okay. Just a little, right? But. But our objective today is we're going to be able, for you guys to be able to um, identify which, which one is simile and which one is metaphor. After that, then we're going to go back in and make them, put them in. Um, Question about similar metaphor before you go back. What? What I mean. I know, but still, can you give an idea? I don't. That's why you need to, to talk with your neighbor. But I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> to compare one objective or idea with another, to suggest they are alike, something that they are like. And then metaphor is the. Things that states are facts by the use of comparison. It's not similar. It's not similar. So. Yeah, but the 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 examples over there they're different. If you look over them and then they're gonna tell the the different. You can you can be able to tell the difference. So maybe they should look at those again if you want them to. Yeah, you can go back now and look at this. And to see if you, this, uh, these examples will tell you which one is similar, which one is metaphor. So, compare one object, not the other. And now we can just put. Um, Some more examples, like uh, if you see the metaphor, the word here is like, and simile is has. said it mm -hmm. makes a comparison yeah. as something is alike two different things that are alike mm -hmm. and usually it's using the word like or as those two words because those two uh, words compare something sorry so if you say oh. wait go down go back up so right there it says a beast with eyes of moonlight, uh -huh. that's a metaphor. Uh -huh. okay, got it. Fur like knotted wool is a simile. It's comparing the fur and the knotted wool, like they're the same thing. Yeah. 
put the metaphor up on top, the, a beast with eyes of moonlight. Of course, eyes aren't really moonlight, but it's a comparison without oh. using like or as. Okay. So. Um, actually, um, I was gonna like ask them to come and underline which one, but then I, I like mixed. I shouldn't put this and that. Oh. I just like wanted to do this, and then they're gonna come and underline. But, so. Well, if you, if you say metaphor up there, it makes somebody think that that's a metaphor. Yeah, but sure. is it? Just, oh, well, sorry. Keep going then. See what you got. Keep going. Okay. Now, if you think you're... Okay, let me... Show me some more examples so that you can I think it'll be it will help you more to find the characteristics. Are you drawing a concept of payment? Yeah. Or direct presentation? Attainment. So what you do is you look at the critical attributes first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they were looking at that first. Yeah, but why, then you should. What we're going to do is try to find the similarities between a metaphor and a simile, like something similar. Oh, we compare. Yeah. And then, if we can come up with three, and then after that we're going to look at the, like, non-critical attributes. Okay. Yes. You can just use these papers at the back of these papers and write to read. Critical attributes. And then I'm going to ask you again to write at the back of this the non critical attributes. But if you can come up with one or two, that, that's good. It's okay. Think on your own. Okay, you're done? I'm going to ask you to share one, just one critical attribute. 
one each, and then I'm going to give you another flashcard if you can come up with the, the non creditable attributes. Okay, Brent? Uh, I just wrote down compare. I mean, I like. Is that? Yeah, they're more like which. Yeah, if we look at this um, examples over here, um, they're in the simile and the metaphor, they use the code as the example. Okay. And if we look at the first sentence, what is, before we do that, I'm going to go again and, and Finish those two to if they share, if they finish sharing, then we're gonna go look for the non critical And then after that, we can just go over and look again in this examples. You guys have any examples for the critical attributes? The third similar. Similar? Mm -hmm. Not alike. In what way they similar? Like, for example, is that uh, the description that it compares to for the goal is similar, mm -hmm. the meaning is different. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. For example, he is like a pig, but he's not a pig. Yes. And then the other one, he is a pig. Maybe the pig is a boy, so it's a he. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's kind of it's a tricky concept. It's a little bit like okay, good job. Now I want you to write at the back of that one non critical attribute if you can think of one of those two. Okay, now we're going to give time to share what we have come up with. And if we can start with from Delta. Okay, so the logical aspect or attribute that I think is like the adjective, maybe one has adjective, one doesn't have an adjective. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's a verb or a description. Because metaphor is a fact that you follow with, and that one is like a description. So one has description, one doesn't have. Print. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, I was looking at the word like. <coughs> there's like over there, and the other side, no. I mean, for the simile, there's like, and there it's just like is. Sorry about the beginning, I, for, um, I forgot to, to tell the objectives. Oh, I did. Um, you, by the end of the class, you'll be able to um, tell the examples or the difference between similes and metaphors. Okay? But 
Um, before we go on to to our last activity, I want to ask you guys the questions. Um, if you have, like, still have questions about some of this, I'm question is during the, the lesson when what part of the lesson when you have questions and the last one is how did learning the examples of similes and metaphors help your learning of your English skills mm -hmm. I know that this um, figurative language is very important for us as second language learners so we can be able to um, help us build more skills in not not only in reading but writing as well in English and last one thing I want you to um, just in that little um, flashcard that you have the, the, the critical attribute I want you to write just one sentence of a simile example simile and one example of metaphor. Mm -hmm. Just write each one um, sentence. Okay. <coughs> so we're we doing the discussion, I hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can discuss with your 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 group, and if you can help each other to come up with one um, sentence of simile and metaphor. Thank you all for your participation in class and that's all.